Hey everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and we're on Court Farm again. So in the last episode, if you remember, we were tending to the farm that we're trying to build. We were working on that grass field that's just to the right of the farm. And uh, yeah, we were getting like a negative score really with our uh, precision farming. So environmental score basically. And every time we sold a product or some grain or some silage or whatever it was, they were taking a tiny bit of money off it wasn't ideal so we did a bit of work in the last episode at least out a few kit because we're not going to be using it for obviously contracts which is the way we're mainly earning money if you if you are new to this series that is the aim and then obviously the long-term aim is to build a farm so as we ended on that one i told you of an idea that i had which is still the plan which is to buy these three fields and then eventually go to field 53 and have this is one massive grass field because i personally think that that there combined into one big grass field uh, with the help of GE removing some of the gates and fences and stuff like that. That's going to be the best way to gain money from silage to build our farm over here. So you can see precision farming wise, we're actually doing all right now. I mean, it's not perfect, but obviously as soon as we harvest this or mow this grass that we've planted in, we should be fine. Nitrogen's fine, pH is fine. We direct seeded in. Um, and if we go to the soil type, and click on this field here. You can see that, obviously, um, ooh, bloody hell, what the hell has just gone on? Let's try that again. <laughs> if we go to that, yeah, you can see the nitrogen's just level. It's too low. That's what's giving us a really poor score. But we have applied nitrogen. We just need to mow that field. And as soon as we do that, that'll shoot back up. This one, unfortunately, I'm hoping that'll improve because we technically have, I think if we have a look, there is a bit of the grass field that kind of goes into that. So that might might move up it might not but we'll find out uh, but we're doing all right on that you're doing all right so at the end of the last episode i was talking to you about two contracts that we're going to aim for in this one one is down here it's called field 24 big grass field it's going to be silage and we also had another one in 131 that was also grass silage so if i just jump over to 131 i can give you a bit of show what we don't i have actually finished off this field completely mowed it I was listening to a bit of tunes and I was just happily mowing away. Thought I'd give myself a bit of a head start for this episode. And we've done really well. We have. So that brings me to where we were, which is in this motor. Now everything on here, as you can see, is grass silage. And this is the cell point. Bales. So let's see what happens with this contract. As soon as we take these off, let's just confirm we're doing the right thing here. It has been a... a like a week until I've actually been on this save game. So don't want to be making some stupid mistake now, do we? So yeah, field 24, that's the one that's going to the biogas plant. We need to remember not to take it to the bale cell point around there because there is one really close. Um, and this is tall tree of bales, which is where I'm at. So happy days. Let's put details back on because we were talking as well about the mod that we're using. That obviously is this kind of like enhanced contract. I can't remember the exact name, but I'm sure it's, so, you know, it's better contracts, but a little bit more involved because it gives us information. Grass silage, for example, um, you can sort mission types by net profit. And yeah, it, it just gives you a lot more information. But the thing that I did set up, if you remember on the settings, is that I've got a feature now where we're kind of trying to simulate or role play, you could say, farmers around the area. Um, we There is a rule that we've got where we have to do seven jobs for a certain farmer before he can lend us his equipment to you. So obviously you're gaining trust each time, which we've got. We're actually really close to that. One more job and we should get one. I can't remember his name, but he's one farmer that we're, we're on the sixth job of doing. So the next one we complete will be the seventh and we can actually lend some of his kit, which is great news. Um, penalties up to 50%. So if we really don't do it within the month, because we only have till the deadline to the end of that month. So if we click, you know, if we accept it late on and we don't get it done, we have to pay 50% of the contract award. So it's a bit of a hefty fee. So we accept a contract with the aim of doing it or else we, yeah, we're not going to be doing very well. But I also mentioned as well about the field purchase discount. Now this basically means that if I do, let's say I do a job for a farmer on his field, and I then want to buy a field in the game and he owns that field, he'll actually give me 3% off because I've done one job for him. Now I've got it that we can actually, it's a number of discount effect jobs here, effective jobs here, it's kind of recurring. So we can do it up to 20 times, but it'll only ever max out to 50%. But that's, that's really good because you can get 50% off the actual price of the field. 
So it makes sense to kind of do these now. It's kind of like tactical. It's changing the way we're going to play this because we're going to look at certain farmers thinking, I want to buy that field off him. Oh, let's get in his good books by doing some work for him. So it might not go anymore with what's the best net, net profit. It might go, we want to get a bit of a discount. So that's the way we're doing it. You can see that it goes 3% each time for each job, but we can only ever max out at 50%. So if we have a quick look again at these fields over here, the ones I want to buy, we... We have a look. Field 52 is owned by Michael Hammond. We've got Leroy Wilson and Gianna Hartman. Now, I want to go with 52 first, maybe 51. So Leroy and Michael are the best ones. So let's jump back down to this one. And we are doing a job for Michael, which is why we're doing it. So that's the first one out of the way. But we probably need to then, after... Um, yeah, we probably need to... Let me just bring that back up with my mouse. There we go. It's disappeared. Take away the other jobs because we don't want that. But we want to look for a, a Leroy because we are sorting by net profit. Where's Leroy? He's there. So we could do bailing in 23 in the next in-game day um, and then buy the field separately because we haven't done any jobs for Leroy. So we're not going to be getting a discount on that, unfortunately. But after we've done this one for Michael, we should get an extra on him. This should be 6% off. And because Clifford's we've done six jobs for, this one will be the seventh. We can start leasing out from him. And I think, if I remember, this field here is by Clifford. Yes, so you can see that 18% off that price already. So it's gone down to 133, which is still expensive, but it's all 18% less than what it should be. This one will go to 6% off. Obviously, we've not done any there. And then we've got the last one here, which is Diana, which is 48,000. So... Aim is, like I said, these three, and that's what we're working towards. But let's finish this off, because we're at 75,000, and I expect to make quite a lot of money in this episode. I honestly think there's a good chance we could be at 150,000 by the end of this. I know that sounds crazy, but you never know. Um, and then we're going to have to think what we're going to do with that money. Are we going to just spend it, buy two fields there and then? Buy one field, and, you know, do some grass work in it? and then you know buy something else and improve our equipment this because we you know we are a contracting company we want to get the equipment in so here we go where we'll be sitting at right so there you go so michael hammond now grants me six percent discount for future field purchases we made five thousand and i think a little bit more that's disappeared there you go it's come eight thousand so we've made a, a fair whack on that i re really have done well and this isn't the biggest one as well we've got another field to do so this one we've completed. We can collect with 11,000. So we'll collect that. Let's have a look at the price of this field now. Eh? So it's 38,000 for that field now, 6% off. So we're definitely going to buy that. Definitely going to buy that. So actually, we'll send this now. Use a bit of auto drive, make our life a bit easier. Let's send this to field 24. Off you go, my mate. Pretty please, thank you. And then let's get over to this field. So this is field 24. We got the tractor ready to go. And Mo, it is like an L shape, so it's not the smallest field, but it's you know it's straightforward enough. It's not massive. And I think we're going to the barracks plant, so it's straight up there. We might be able to try and get out that way. See what we finish off with. Uh, but yeah, it's the stacking, isn't it? Really, that's the problem. Um, but what I want to quickly do is this tractor is bowing blacksmith we need to sort this out we need to go get it fixed so i'm going to unhitch there we go and we're going to send this to the store there is a repair point at the store and i just think yeah repair dealer go to there my friend we need to get you fixed so let that carry on and then we can focus on starting the work i hope they don't meet I hope to God they don't meet. I mean, it is a pretty clever auto drive route. Let's hope they, they notice each other. Should we just watch this and see what happens? See if we can see any problems. Let's get let's get up in the area. Why not? So he's going to come out. You see, uh, if he makes it to the main road and turns left, whoop. yes, he has. There you go. So he has stopped. Knowing that's clever. You see. That auto drive network is absolutely spot on. Perfect, in fact. So while he enters this field, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about. 
So in the last episode to this, I mentioned, um, it could have been the one before, actually, I mentioned about swapping out GPS and so guidance steering mod um, and using VCA, so vehicle control add-on. And I saw a comment that was, uh, someone said, oh, you, you didn't showcase that. And you're completely right. I didn't actually want to activate it until we started doing contract work again. Just because the field that I was in was so small, I was waiting to showcase it in the next job we do. So we're going to do that today. We're going to show showcase that because it is definitely, for me, the best one. I personally think that it is better than guided steering. And I know that is just a preference, uh, but it wasn't the original one I used. And the only reason I went back to guided steering is because obviously it works really well with Proceed. And when I was on Bally Spring at one point, I was trying my hand at Proceed to... Yeah, just to get it um, working pretty well on that. So, uh, but that, I always find that's just, it's not as good as it could be. And it's not the mod's fault, it's just, I think it's the game. It, it limitations on the game, really, with that. So we'll park that there. So we'll showcase that, and as soon as we do the, some headland passes, we'll, we'll do the up and down, and I'll talk to you about that. Because it is, it is a cracking mod, it really is, a decent mod. And, yeah, it does a lot more as well, so it's not just guided steering but if you're looking at something just for like the guided steering side of things the next point i'm going to make is i saw a comment about the jcb and it's a really good mod but the sound of the engine is the only problem so i decided there's some really good prefabs at the moment some audio prefabs coming out for like engine noises on mod hub and i've tried one before i've actually used them in the farman series the 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 case that I drive is actually a different sound, and I think it sounds really good now. And the Leyland as well, I've actually put something on for that. But this, this now, I've actually found another prefab on Mod Hub, and I decided to try it out. So I think this is, it says it's for the right tractor, but it's very loud. It's very loud. Uh, but with an exhaust like that coming up, it's, I guess it would be. I mean, I've never had the privilege of driving a fast tractor, no, but. Let's see, let's, you can tell me what you think, but I think it might be a bit too loud for the video. But that's the new sound. And it just kind of, it just kind of sounds quite loud. It gets to a point where it's quite angry, I think. <laughs> but it's much better. It is much better. I, uh, I definitely think it's a, yeah, a better setup, let's say, uh, engine setup, sound effect. So we'll try it out, and there's more. I have got more that I can try, so it's not just this one. Let's just make sure we are not doing. Yeah, we don't want to be doing fresh. Let's go to Z and Z. Now we should be doing that. Yeah, you can you can hear it, can't you? It's a lot louder. But you know, for what it is, I'm kind of stuck with it. I'll be honest. I'm like torn. It's definitely an improvement, but I don't know if it's the right one. And I did notice as well on Mod Hub that there was some more released recently. So I might have a play around to see if I can find another one. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think of it, because I like it, I do, but I just think, yeah, I just think it's not, I don't know, it's just very loud. Yeah, it's a weird one, it's a weird one. So when that gets to the the repair point, which is probably there now, we can get that tractor repaired and get it back and we can get through this field. We've got another one to fully bail up, wrap up, um, and then obviously we'll get it loaded onto the trailer, take it up to the biogas plant, and then we should have some decent money. I mean, we're sitting at 100,000. Definitely gonna make 20,000 from the contract. We're lucky to make another 20 so maybe about 140 is a good estimate to think where we'll be at the end but I mean for where we started we're definitely doing so much better because we've got these salvage contracts grass is the way to go it really is and if you get like a big field like I'm planning on doing and we do it right and get three cuts get a grass roller as well and go over it each time I think it might mean that we can actually get a third cut in speeds it up doesn't it a little bit kind of misses one of the, the growth stages out I think and three cuts is probably the most we can ever hope for um, but sometimes I actually struggle to get that so I think it is the grass work that we have to do we have to get a grass roller 
go over it after it's been mowed. And then I imagine we might get a second call. Uh, a third call, sorry. I think it's something like that. I remember seeing a comment about it. And that'll definitely be something we try out if that's the case. Right, so let's just stop there a second. I'm going to do about three headlands. But what I want to do is this. Look at this. Look how good this auto drive route is. He's actually reversed all the way up there on its own and parked up. I think it might go a little bit close to the back. Yeah, very close. But it's up there. It's up there. That's the main thing. Um, I think I need to turn them back on, don't I? Let's try that. Ooh, not that one. Not that one. Yeah, we need to turn these back on. I turn them off for the farm and obviously just because I want it to try and be um, quite immersive series, isn't it? So with it being a role play, realistic role play. Right, so what we need to do with this is repair it. So let's get that done. Only 3,000, that's not too bad and it's definitely worth it because it was struggling. So let's just slowly roll down here and we'll send it back to field 24. It's a nice feature as well that on the on the mini map it does showcase the field you're working in. There we go. Happy days. So we can carry on with this. So I'll get around the field three times. I'll cut back in and then I'll show you BCA, so the vehicle control add-on, and uh, how that works. Because yeah, I think a lot of people think it's a it's more complicated than it actually is, um, and then just stick with GPS because it's what you know. But it's definitely worth a try, and it's it's worth a shout out. The mod's definitely worth a shout out. And if I can just do a quick showcase on it, nothing too crazy or in depth, then I think, yeah, it definitely does it justice. Um, and I have to say, like, it is my favourite favourite version of uh, a garden steering within Farming Simulator. Right, so welcome back. We're nearly finished on this third headland. Uh, the tractor's just got here as well, so we're sitting right in the middle of the field. I'm gonna have to move him out of the way and set that row going soon. Um, we can probably work in the field whilst he's doing that. Let's just cut this off and uh, head straight back up, and then we've done the third. And actually, in fact, this might be a really good point to start our GPS from. So let's just turn that off, and then we can. Move this out of the way, just quickly. So I have got VCA set up on my stream deck, uh, just because I had it set up prior as well. So I actually use my stream deck to use uh, mainly for FS. So if I just bring it closer to me here, just a second, I've actually got two buttons. So unlike GPS, which is taking up five, GPS have got toggle menu, so that's like toggling it on and off. Uh, set the points, so you can set your A point, B point, and GPS, or uh, and then auto width and steering on and off. There's five options. I only need two for this, literally just two. So if I start it up, the engine again, and we'll just get directed in, a, in any way we think we want to go. Um, I've got on here, I've called it on and off and clear. That's it. So I turn it on, turn it off, and I clear it. And it's that simple. What I'm just quickly going to try and show you is the buttons. There is a lot of controls, but I only ever really need Control-C, Control-Alt and C. That's it. So Control-Alt-C and Control-C. Um, and it, honestly, it's it's literally that simple. That simple. Um, there is a lot more. You can see that we can... like This is to do with like view directions, looking in the cab, um, rotating line guidance and all that kind of stuff. Control W is to turn lane guidance, obviously, on and on. On and off, sorry. Um, and it's pretty much that simple. Inching, you've got different things, but I'm not going to go fully in-depth in all that just because this isn't going to be a full-on episode just to showcase this. It's just a small snippet of why I use VCA. Um, or prefer to, I should probably say. So, first thing we're going to do is, well, uh, unfold that, place that down. For some reason, I've turned that off. Um, there we go. So that's that. So let's press uh, Control Alt C. So this is the vehicle control add-on, as you can see, so VCA, the global settings. And if we press Control C, this is vehicle settings. So you can see this is just for this vehicle. So really all I need to do every time is go into this, hit detect width, 
so that's all done now. Now, if you remember, the problem I had with guided steering when I started last time is it would it was shifting each time over. So I actually found with this setup that I've got now mowing, I couldn't use guided steering because it was shifting over, shifting over again, and I was just ending up going a diagonal across the field mowing. It was very strange. Um, I don't know if that's something I was doing wrong, but I don't get this problem with VCA. I just it just doesn't give me any issues like that. So what we need to look at really is track guiding because I just have a few recommendations and the only thing I do is you want to know about your lane like your lines that come up I really like it on this because you can have it set up where they only show up when inactive which is really good because if you change if you get to the end of the row and turn the lines will show back up but then as soon as you activate again the lines disappear so it doesn't break the immersion as much but they're there when you need them but you can have other options so you can say always you can have if inactive high so it means the the, the lines are higher up think of auto drive you know you can have the roots high and you can have it on the floor it's basically like that i prefer the lines to be on the floor always high so that's just an option for that you can have never i'm going to stick it to if inactive so snap control angle this is the one i would actually recommend to put down to one it really doesn't matter but i prefer one degrees because it's more precise and what that basically does is any way I'm pointing right now, within one degree, it will snap to that. There's no A point figuring out lines. You just snap to the point you're looking at. And then it will keep that as you go through the field. So the starting point is really good, but I'd recommend to always set your vehicle to one degree. Um, that's just my preference. Just my advice on that one. You can see that you can go into differentials, traction control, if you wanted to have four-wheel drive and all that, but we're not going to go into that. So, like I said, the controls are in the menu if you wanted to have a look to figure it out. But all I need to do now is press on, and that's it. It will keep me now going at this row, at this kind of like setup that I've got. Oh, these, these lines will set up like that until I clear it, and then it eventually it will re-snap. But it snapped in the direction I'm running at, and you can see that it's disappeared the lines have. So all I need to do now is turn my mowers on, the very loud tractor. <laughs> And drive right to the end and I'm now obviously not steering this is enabled you couldn't tell because you know you just you just couldn't tell could you really because they have not got the the lines in front of me um, and then also as well when I get to the end and turn it will turn off again I think the front has gone back to it has let's sort that out so you can see the lines are staying and I'm turning and they're automatically changing so I've turned then I press on again and that's it literally that simple and all the way through the field now it'll work like this and the only time I had to set it up was really at the start I just have to point the tractor in the way I want to go and it'll make the line like that and uh, yeah it's just really nifty it's really nifty it's, it's more easy to use um, you know there's less input involved um, and I've obviously found that I get on any issues with it at all. Um, especially when you're doing anything with an overlap. So overhanging mowers and stuff like that. There is functions that I do want to add to my stream deck, which is basically you can press one button and it will turn all your mowers off and lift them up. So just with one, one button. Now, I know there is a mod that does that, but it's nice to have it in this mod so it's kind of combined. So I think it's I think it's is just I think it actually might be set up where it's the front and the, yeah, look, lower raise front tools, lower raise back tools. So you could actually have it where it's two buttons on. So you could lower your front and raise your front and then raise your back. So as you made the turn now, I'd be raising up with both end buttons on my stream deck. I'd make the turn and then obviously activate GPS again or ECA still the same thing it is a form of gps in the game and yeah we carry on now really good for the the new setups that are coming out there's a big vehicle control system coming out in there with the uh, farming simulator i think they're actually announcing it today as this video has dropped so there is a video on youtube already of it i think it's hori hori or something um are making this product that actually looks really good you know if you can customize them buttons which i'm pretty certain you can then you could set up where VCA is the mod activated and you can obviously have your GPS set up, you can have the turning set up, um, 
where it raises and you can just have a button to raise the front raise the back i mean i think it's perfect i really do it's a cracking mod it's uh, worth having a look at yourself i know people love guidance steering because you know it's been out for a long time fs19 and all that but i just i just think this is easy to use so it's worth a showcase at least so i think now what i'll do is i'll get a time lapse going we'll get the guy on the row set up to start because then we can crack on and uh, I'll also get whoever's pinging me on Discord to stop. <laughs> everybody welcome back i am getting very close to finishing this off um i've had to take over because the row obviously missed bits um it's my fault well then again it's not my fault it is a bit of my fault because i kind of know about it and i should have set it up better but it says it's a nine meter spread and i set that row then to 8.8 .8 in, in courseway because i already know that it kind of isn't nine meters it's not what it says so the mod isn't exact um but i obviously needed to make it a little bit less because yeah i'm still i've still missed bits which isn't ideal not ideal at all but we're just going to tidy up because i think i can get one more bale now i know previously i said that stacking it up high like i did that time <laughs> wasn't a very good idea well i've gone and done it again as you can tell 
So uh, I think we can get one more bale on that, which will mean we are one off. Yeah, we're one off. I've been four high in a full trailer. <laughs> That's a lot of bales. That is a lot of bales, and I'm just hoping that JCB will not scream coming up that hill. Uh, I don't know if that's the best way to go as well, because I think it might be a bit of a tight turn, so I might just go down the main road, set all these to go back to the farm, and then, yeah, we'll finish off with getting that up to the biogas plant. And I'm going to go down the main road. Well, I call it a main road. I don't even know. <laughs> this is... This is in... Yeah, it's just a load and a half. I have got it, so I'm not doing... I'm just doing front wheel turning. Because I've got a feeling that we just... You know, it'll make turnings a little bit more smoother. And obviously, that's going to be important with this load. This is a heavy load. And even this tractor... He's not, he's not loving it, is it? He's just... Got my doors open here. There we go. That's what we want. But yeah, we're going to... I just hope we don't hit any trees. I mean... If we hit some kind of branch, then yeah, that's it. We're done for. Oof, that was close. Don't hit that one. That was close as well. Oh, my days. <laughs> oh, God, that is not ideal. I'm just glad it's strapped. Got it's the strap down. Come on. Definitely not meant to happen this way. But we're getting there. He says. There's a tree there. We will get there. We will. Why does that door keep open? It's actually difficult because I can't see the front. If we just get over to the left hand side, we should be alright. There we go. There we go. Oh, there is a tractor. <laughs> there is a tractor in front of that. No, here we go. This is hopefully going to make a lot of money. We can buy two fields. I think that's probably the best way to go. Buy two fields. And then... We can start working on it, really. In the next episode, we could make grass salad and just sell it. And then improve the farm or equipment from there and from the money we make, because it'll just be all for us. Oof, man, it's even louder now, that is. And it's struggling so so much up this hill. But yeah, let me know in the comment section. I am interested to see if you think that's probably the right sound for this JCB fast track. And if not, I'll uh, I'll try some more, but we'll get one that just sounds perfect. The two that I'm using on the Farm Man series, they, they just they work perfectly. They really do. Just thinking as well. We should probably. Oh, this is pulling up really in a minute, but yeah, we should probably go to the farm and check on the vehicles that we sent back because two of them, two of them are really low on fuel, and I don't know if all drive will turn it off. So let's just stop here for a second. Yeah, they're still happily on their way. It's it's the one at the front like this. Look at the fuel on that. I hope he gets there. I hope he gets there. And I also hope this gets there. So we don't miss it. Let's say we don't hit any more trees along the way. Well, it's more like branches, but we'll get there. It's not far. Just up here, past this cell point, we've cut across where the pub is. And I'm down to the actual biogas plant, not, uh, not the uh, this bale cell point there as well. Mm. And what we could do is just make sure... By going, I tell you what, that's not ideal. But that's not ideal. Not while we're driving. Hit 33 miles an hour with this. Slow down, slow down. There we go. When we get to the main road, I will just bring it up. In fact, I'll do it when we get to the entrance of the biogas plant. Just to, I wanted to tag the location just to get it right. So I'm not sure if it's. There's two cell points at the biogas plant. We want to make sure we go to the right one, or else we'll get a load of money. And then, yeah, we'll uh, have to pay, well, we'll have to pay 50% as a penalty. 
of what he would have earned, I guess. Or, I don't know how it works. Is it what I would have earned or what the cost of the product was? The brakes are on full. Can it stop? Yes. Whew. That is close. Just like this is going to be close now. Got a feeling we're just going to have to take it a bit wide just to make sure we straighten up past this. Ooh. Ooh. Just about got through that gate. Right, so is it this cell point here? That's the question. Let's get this done. This has been one that hopefully isn't gonna, you know, biogas plant 250 kilowatt. Yeah, but this is this has been a good one, let's be honest. It's been a good episode for making some money. Biogas 50. Oh, ah, that's it. There it is. So we want to tag that. So it's that there. So I think if that is the cell point. It doesn't look like a cell point there, though, does it? I have to get the the tally handler down here for this because I don't think that's right. No, it's not. We need to stop this and turn it around and set it up to the biogas plant, and then we'll just shove them in. It shouldn't take too long. I'm hoping because it's the biogas plant, we don't have many problems. Like we don't have a problem with it. I mean, does it only fit so much in? Don't know. Don't know. Biogas plant 250. Uh, that's the campsite. Unload us. So, gestate low point. Let's just go to that one. Uh, we probably want. Did I gestate unload point? Let's uh, just let it go there. And then what we'll do is. Is we'll stop this because. I want to know how much fuel's left in this. We have got in here. We've got no fuel. <laughs> that is shocking. That is shocking. Unlucky. We're going to have to... Do you know what? I'm going to have to nudge it over here. That's what I'm going to have to do with that. I'm going to have to give it a bit of a nudge. But we can fuel this one up. So let's quickly just do that while we wait for the... The tally handler to get up to the biogas plant. It's never easy. Never easy, is it? So you can see we've got a lot of bales sitting in that cell point. A lot of bales. So I'm going to accept the contract and hope that I don't lose out. Hopefully it will be alright. So yeah, accept the contract. The bales are still there. We're at 140. And now I guess we just, yeah, bypass time until these bales vanish and we get more money right so we're in we're, we're literally progressing past into november now this is lasting a while but i just can't believe how quick how slow the actual biogas plant is like, i don't think i want to go anymore because we want to do some work in november don't we so we'll be taking money in um, and we have got, yeah, we have got a bale still sitting in there. So, six and a half thousand litres left on that bale. I think we're actually going to come just around the 150 mark, aren't we? Should we go to midday and see what happens? I think that's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, it's going down very slowly, isn't it? It's... It, it's not consuming it quick at all. I'll tell you what we'll have to do. We'll have to just do one day in November and day three it. Because I really want to know if my money will stop. and Or if this, what's in the biogas plant will also progress through. Because that's in, it's insane if that's the case. But we've just hit the 150 mark. So we are doing incredible. And the bale has just emptied. And our money has stopped going up as you can see so that there is going down but it's nothing to do with our finances so that's good news then 
We've hit 150. Can you believe how close we got to 150 as well? That's incredible. <laughs> so we'll make it morning, 9 o'clock, November day 3. That took a long time when you think about it to progress through. But we got there. We got there. I think now then, the best thing to do, first we'll turn that off. We'll go and buy these fields, but we'll fly up to it. We'll get a bit of an, a close eye view of it. And then, yeah, we'll get it purchased. Right, so here we are. There's technically four fields here. We're not going to be buying that, even though it's massive. But I am going to buy one of these, or maybe two. Probably two, in fact. We'll get this one and that one, and we'll cut out this fence here. I'll go into GE and get that gone so we can actually make the most of this. Um, it's actually not a bad size, is it, really? We're going to be doing really well with this. We might need to tidy up some of these trees as well so we can make it a proper, proper field. I mean, it is a proper field anyway, but, you know, not have something like that we're going to have to miss out on. At some point, it probably will need replanting, but we can make grass silage off this straight away and make a killing. We're not going to take it to the biogas plant, though, because I'd rather just have the money there and then. It doesn't actually give you more money as well. Like, looking at it, 290 I could have taken it to the farmer's market, got it straight away, same price. So there's no benefit of waiting. But let's get them purchased. What a perfect way to end this episode by getting these fields bought. It's a 38,000 for that. We've got a 6% discount. So we're going to buy that. We also want to buy this, which is only 37. And there you go. So now we own field, was it 52 and field 51. And we'll get all our precision farming score sorted out on that as soon as we get it mowed. But I think that's how we're going to do the next episode. I think we're going to cut, cut this now. Whilst we're in November, we don't want to get to the month of December and we're going to get it bailed up, turned into silage, and we're going to make a load of money for ourselves. And we're still sitting at 74,000. You can't complain of that. Definitely a productive one. So on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.